Hey, this is Matt from TPSTool.com. This is a uh, Polaris, a 2008 Polaris Sportsman 500 we're going to talk about today. It's uh, good as well for the 2007, same part number. And hey, real quick, if this is helpful to you, please click like, leave me a comment below. I appreciate it. All right, let's jump into it. Uh, we're going to set the TPS on this guy, and then we're going to also find out there's a screw on here. If I can see through the camera, this guy here, this actually affects the how much the throttle plate is held open. And the manual says not to mess with this. And I know some of you guys have, have messed with that and we want to reset it. So we're going to figure out where that's set from the factory. And we're also going to set the throttle position sensor. Uh, so the TPS setting for this one uh, ideally is 1.12 volts. The spec allows 1.10 to 1.14. So we're going to shoot for 1.12. We're going to use our TPSTool.com Pro Powered Meter. It comes with a whole pile of adapters. We need the Model 4 for this particular throttle body. So set those aside. And you're going to connect it like this. Uh, green goes in ground, red goes in FB or feedback, and black goes in 5 volts. Okay, I'm going to plug that in here. If I put it the right way, it helps. There we go. Remember, we're looking for 1.12 ideally. We're at 1.08. This one's a little low. So if you're going to adjust it, all you need to do is take a screwdriver. We're going to loosen these two screws. We're going to rotate the, thro oops, rotate the throttle position sensor to set the voltage. There we go. So now you can see it's moving over there, barely touch it, and it moves, it's very, very sensitive. We're shooting for 1.12, and it's probably going to move a little bit as I tighten the screws as well. And we're just going to get in the ballpark since we're just doing a quick video. If you're adjusting your own, you're probably going to fight with it for a little bit, get it perfect. I'm at least going to get it 1.12 something. Let's see. I know it went down when I tightened it, so we'll start here, and there we go. There we go, 1.12. So now we're well within spec. If you want to check that the TPS is operating properly, uh, going to open the throttle slowly. When you rotate this guy, you use the throttle if it's still in the motor. You see when you rotate this, it moves the throttle valve. Uh, so you're going to watch the numbers as you slowly open and close the throttle and just make sure they change smoothly. No jumps or gaps. If it jumps to zero or have any sudden movements and you know something's wrong with the TPS, this one looks okay. So there we go. So that's the uh, good factory default right there, 1.12. This should run really nice now. Uh, and this is a tag. I picked these things up from some guys who part out the bikes. And this one, let's have a moment of silence for the rest of the bike. I'm not sure what happened to it, but it was pretty rough when I got it. But it was untouched. You can tell by the mechanics paint that's on here that it was untouched when I got it. Now the TPS is set properly. Let's find out where this is set. And for this, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver and a 10 millimeter box wrench for the jam nut. And now we're 1.1219 here. So let's see. When I have checked these out in the past, they tend to have it turned up just until it starts to change the reading. The throttle plate, by the way, the throttle plate on this was fully closed. I put water in here when I was cleaning it and it held water. No water went through the throttle plate. So it is fully closed. And I think they tighten this just enough to take up any play. So let's see where it stops moving. Yeah, there we go. So now I've loosened it enough. You can see a gap here. This screw is no longer holding the throttle open, and we're at 1.08. So if you've messed with this, uh, you know, you can try setting it to 1.08, and then set your T. I'm sorry, back the screw out all the way, set your TPS to 1.08, then turn the screw up until you read about 1.12. You can try that. Or a second method you might try is, as I mentioned, this thing was holding water. So the throttle plate was not open. Perhaps turn this until just when the throttle plate starts to open. And at that point, yeah, so maybe at that point, right as it starts to open, you can set then your TPS to 1.12 and try that as well. Uh, Polaris does not publish the number for this. They say you have to buy a new throttle body if you mess with that. I'm not sure why they take that stance, but uh, if you have messed with that, then give that a try. I would say, I would try the method first, turn this in just until the throttle plate starts smooth but isn't open yet, then adjust the TPS to 1.12. Um, but if you haven't messed with that, which you shouldn't, then all you need to do is adjust your TPS to 1.12 and you're off and running. Uh, again, if this helps you out, please click like, leave me a message below. Yeah, leave me a message below. I would love to hear from you. Anything I can do to make the meter better, improve service, let me know. And I appreciate you all watching. Thank you very much.